and the members of parliament are a company. Gordon Brown is a company. David Cameron is a company. And this one I like. The Labour Party trade as Alistair Darling MP. <laughs> it's their trading name. It's just there. The reason they trade with Alistair Darling MP is because Alistair Darling is a diplomat. There's about three of them. If they trade in his name, that trading name has diplomatic status. That means they can bend things and do things that you don't know about. It's a whole different way of doing things. This is what politics is about. This is what you believe to be the people representing you are doing. But they're not. This is what they do. So we look at politics as pertaining policy, an administration of a government, a plan or a course of action, also defined as a political party, corporation, written co co contract or a certificate of insurance. Acts of Parliament become statutes, primary legislation. You know what legislation is? You've heard this word, yeah? No? Yeah. <laughs> Internal are enacted, enforced by statutory instruments, which are secondary legislation. Council tax is a statutory instrument enacted on the 1st of April 1993 under the primary legislation, the Local Government Finance Act of 1992. But when we look at a statutory instrument, we find it's a created, written, legal contract. It's not law. Where does it say it's law? Can you see it? Society. So I'm going to look at society and the contracts. Society, the socially dominant members of a community. Does this country have a socially dominant element who want to stay socially dominant? Right. It is a number of persons united by mutual consent in order to deliberate, determine and jointly act for a common purpose. Does that ring any bells? <laughs> Contract is an agreement between two or more persons that creates or modifies an existing relationship. Offer, consideration and acceptance must be, for a, be there, or exist, for a contract to be made. Then we look at a constitution, the fundamental rules, written or unwritten, which John explained earlier, that establishes the character of a government by defining the basic principles society must conform to. Do you have to conform to things? Do you? Do you pay tax? No. You don't. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> you were not given a choice if you wanted to join this society. It was made for you at the time when you could not express a choice. So when we look at the word statute, I know I like this one. A legislative rule of society given the force of law by the consent of the governed. And I ask you, please, if you could explain to me where in that definition taken from Black's Law Dictionary that that says that statute is law. The force of law, but it's not law. Right. I will get to that. Not quite yet, but I will get to it. <laughs> From the neuter of you must, everybody must know this word status. Is what our society, that, what does it rely on? Status. Yeah? That's what we want to do, don't we? We want to be better in status. More money, bigger car, bigger this, bigger that, better in next door neighbour. That's the word, status. And it all comes from this. Status is the legal character of a condition or condition of a person or a thing. It's not real. It's imaginary. Okay? Completely imaginary. In the definition it actually shows that it's not law. It's only given, it's given the force of law, which means it will apply to you if you consent. 